gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the next milestone in White Sox history. In 1975, the organization began retiring the uniform numbers of worthy legendary players in White Sox and baseball history. Since then, 11 men have been bestowed with this honor. Today, the Chicago White Sox immortalize a true competitor who represents the passion and pride of the Chicago White Sox. The hottest hitter on this team stands in between Mark Burley and perfection. Broadcast over 6,000 games, and it's my all-time favorite game because of the fact of who it is, Mark Burley. You know, some guys can throw a no-hitter, and okay, pat him on the fatty after the game's over, say nice scoring, and that's it. But when a guy like Mark Burley does it, and the kind of individual he is as a person, it, I started crying. And when Cavalier hit that ball, Dwayne kicked it in gear, the adrenaline kicked in, got back, jumped, took the ball from going over the fence, brought it back in, Dropped it going down and we caught it. And under those circumstances, the greatest catch I've ever seen in my career. But today we recognize one of the most competitive yet team players in White Sox history. And today we enshrine him as the great we all know him to be by retiring that number 56. It's hard for me to wrap my head around it. Um, you just go out there as a kid and play baseball and have fun. Uh, and Next thing you know, here you're getting your number retired. You can't, you can't really explain it. You don't expect this. You don't think about it. Um, it's not a dream when you're a kid. Um, you just want to play professional baseball. And I was, I was fortunate to do that and, and have all, as long of a career as I did here in Chicago. Fans, please direct your attention to the upper deck facade behind home plate as Mark's children, Brooklyn and Braden, count down to reveal that now retired number 56. Come on over, guys. We're gonna start the countdown. Five. Ready? I'm not, I'm not good at this stuff, so I should be on the mound right now, not standing here in front of this mic talking to you guys. I learned a lot from him, and what a professional, what a true professional is. Uh, worked hard, prepared all the time, wasn't always feeling great, still ran out there and got the job done and pitched, and pitched for a long time. I don't believe in the last 30 years that there's been any pitcher that's been more valuable to the organization than Mark Earl. I spent a third of my life here, and I, uh, nowhere else I'd rather spend it than here on the south side of Chicago. So thank you, everybody on TV, people that are here, people that are not here. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you.